this video, we will be discussing on some of the retrosynthesis example questions and how we can um, solve the problems related to retrosynthesis. Okay, the first uh, example here, if you look at this compound, this is actually an ester because it has um, C double bond O, o here, functional group. So, in order to solve this um, type of uh, questions or problem, uh, we need uh, two items here. The first one is the retrosynthetic analysis and the second one is the forward synthesis step. So, in this case, when we have uh, this compound, what should we do is we need to do some disconnection. So, in this case, we disconnect at the functional group. So, in this case, we disconnect at this bond. So, what we get is this part, this and this. So, this is the synthetic equivalent from the disconnection. Okay. Okay, now we have the first uh, synthetic equivalent here. Okay, this can also be disconnected. So, another disconnection is this part. Because in real type of synthesis, if you were to have this compound, it is quite expensive. So, we need to break it into a small molecule, eh? smaller molecule. So, in this case, what we will get, because it is a primary alcohol, so normally primary alcohol is made of Grignard reagent and um, some uh, formaldehyde. Yeah? So, in this case, you will get these two synthetic equivalent. Okay, use double arrow means double arrow is your um, reverse arrow. Yeah? Okay, now... We have another part here, which is this static material. And then this is also a big molecule. So a big molecule, it can be disconnected again at this point. Okay, so what you will get is this compound. And because it is carboxylic acid, you know that uh, it is made of green yard reagent with CO2. Okay, this also can be disconnect to give you smaller starting material. So this is the first step, the retrosynthetic analysis. And then we go to the forward synthesis. Okay, in this forward synthesis, we just now we have an alcohol and okay. Uh, in the previous slide, we have the static material, the alcohol, and also the carboxylic acid. So, how do we prepare the alcohol? So, this alcohol can be prepared from the reaction of, first you have alkyl halide, then this alkyl halide you react with magnesium to give you a green yard reagent, okay, and then this green yard reagent is now uh, react with the formaldehyde to give you this primary alcohol. And now, uh, the carboxylic acid, so how do we make the carboxylic acid? Is by starting from ethane. Okay, so how are we going to increase the chain? Is we do some alkylation using organolithium reagent uh, in the presence of the, the desired alkyl halide. Okay, with the desired uh, chain that you want. Okay, so you will get this compound. And now, when we have um, tertiary, uh, we, if we have alkyne here, so we want to turn it into uh, carboxylic acid, so we can react with organolithium, with uh, carbon dioxide, and also in the presence of acid. So we will get this carboxylic acid. So now the last step in order to produce the target molecule is by reacting the ester uh, the carboxylic acid that you got from the second step here and then you react with 
uh, alcohol that you get from this reaction and it will give you a final product of ester. Okay, the next example is how are you going to produce this aldol compound? Okay, you know that when you have aldol, you can either disconnect it here or here. Okay, let's take a look uh, at the answer. Okay, now let's say if we disconnect this part. Okay, so we get uh, these two starting material. These two synthetic equivalent, then these two. Okay, this is fine because this is an aldehyde. Okay, we can uh, we can use as it is, but this one, this ketone is quite a big molecule because it has a few functional group here. So we need to reduce it into a small mo smaller molecule. So what happened is that we can convert this ketone into this um, ketone having diene, okay, having a double bond. And then if you look at this reaction, so we can get a cross aldol condensation, okay, uh, using compound three and four here. Okay, if you look at the answer, number two is hexanol, number three is vanillin, and number four is acetone. So, these two, three, four compounds, they are all readily available, meaning we can buy them straight away. So, we can just use um, this starting material to make these aldol compounds. Okay, uh, now uh, example number three. So normally you will be um, asked the instruction for the question is like this. Yeah? So write a retrosynthetic scheme and show the CC disconnection followed by synthetic reaction to prepare compound X, meaning this is your compound X. Uh, show the disconnection and all of the symptom. Okay, like the first example, you need two items here. The first one is the retrosynthetic analysis and the second one is the forward synthesis. Okay, in this case, we can disconnect the molecule at this part. So you will get a synton. So you will get a synton. And plus here. And then minus. Okay, so this is the synthetic equivalent. So you know that when you have uh, OH and then the carbon next to the OH is plus, so you will get an aldehyde like this, your synthetic equivalent. Now, if you have a minus synton like this, so you need to balance it with the RMG. And you get a Grignard region. Okay, this is the retrosynthetic analysis. Okay, so this meaning the synthetic equivalent. Yeah? Okay, so the second step is the forward synthesis. Okay, now you have this um, alkyl halide. Okay. Uh, you need to uh, produce a green yard region, so you react with the magnesium in the presence uh, in ether solvent. Okay, now you have the green yard region, and then you react with the aldehyde, and then you will get the target molecule. Okay, that's the end of this video.